What's going on, guys? It's Jack and Captain Sports here. Captain Sports, we're doing it. We're breaking the cycle today. We're finally going to make a pick 'em on a Thursday night game, and it happens to be one of the good ones because you know Thursday night games usually are pretty bad. But uh, this one is a pretty good matchup. Both teams have winning records. It's a uh, divisional clash uh, between uh, the Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. We got uh, Ryan Tannehill going up against Andrew Luck. Just kidding. Phillip Rivers. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to do the Thursday night game tonight, and then we'll make another one, and we'll do the rest of them uh, later on this weekend. But, uh, all right, I'm going to hand it over to uh, Captain Sports now, man. Who do you got? Okay, so uh, this one is actually an intriguing matchup, in my opinion. We have um, what what really has become the epitome of a three-headed monster in Indianapolis, um, which is, is is very interesting to see. I mean, Naeem Hines has been doing his thing. Um, is it is Marlon Mack? Is he he's one of the guys who's, who's getting carries right now? Correct. Marlon Mack is uh, out for the year. Oh, he got hurt. Okay. So now we're, we're down to two then. It's uh, it's, it's Naeem Hines and uh, the Roots, right? Uh, Jonathan Taylor? Yep. Taylor's uh, been playing really well this year. I like him. He can, he can play. Uh, I, I just don't know them, man. I mean, Tennessee's defense is no slouch. Those, those guys can play a little bit. Phillip Rivers has been just inconsistent at best. And I, and I think generally that team, although it, it have been able to win, their play has just been inconsistent. Um, you know, and, and, and on the other side, you have the Tennessee Titans, too. Yeah, they've lost a couple of games, but, I mean, you got to look at who they lost to. You know, they, they, they've lost to some pretty good teams this year. Uh, Tannehill has been, you know, just continuing his, his consistent play through last year. Derrick Henry got held down a little bit by Chicago. I don't expect to see that tonight. I think we're going to see King Henry go ahead and uh, knight the Indianapolis Colts. So um, I am going to take the Tennessee Titans tonight. Going with the Titans. Is it a close game? You got it being a blowout. What do you got? <laughs> Are they playing in Hinesfield? Is that where they're at tonight? Hinesfield? Uh, yeah. I mean, not Hinesfield. Uh, Lucas Oil Stadium. Uh, let me Let me check. I believe, I believe so. If I had to, if I had to put money on it, I would say, uh, yeah, I think they're playing in. Uh, I think they're playing in Indianapolis. No, no, they're playing in Tennessee. They're playing at Nissan Stadium. Okay, so they're going to be playing in an open stadium, which is not, uh, it's not very adaptable for the Indianapolis Colts playing in a dome. Uh. You know, Tennessee's going to get home field advantage. I, again, I think King Henry is going to come out pissed off this week because of what Chicago did to him. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this one a blowout. Wow, okay. Uh, me, we're going to split right off the bat. We're First matchup of the week, we're going to go. We're not going to agree. Um, if you watched the game last week with the Colts and the Ravens, the score did not do that game justice. I know it was 21-10. I know the Ravens won. Uh, but it was a close defensive game. Uh, and, 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 you know, uh, you, you would – what the heck was that? Um, I'm going to the store. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know what the betting odds are for this game? Uh, I do not. Vegas? Uh, Indianapolis is a slight favorite to win tonight. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy into it because I, I think Indianapolis is a slight favorite because of their defense, and I I think Derrick Henry is gonna show them why he's the king of rushing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, for me, I'm gonna go with both the defenses are good. Uh, we they got running backs that are very good. They got quarterbacks that are good. This is an all around good matchup. Uh, man, I hope T I will uh T I or T Y. Hilton, man, I hope that guy starts coming on because he is playing today. And if you can get uh, Hilton involved in a game, you know that's a, that's a that's a difference maker right there. And I think with I think with Philip Rivers, I think you have to get him going. Um, you can't rely on that game as much because you know Tennessee Tennessee's got a good defense as well. Uh, but you know that being said, um, I think I just I think I'm gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna go with the Colts. 
I think uh, Ray, uh, Rivers is, uh, you know, he's kind of upset when uh, what happened last week, and I think, you know, he's going to uh, look to get that ball spread it out early and get that run game involved. You know the run game is it's there if they need it. So, um, yeah, uh, Frank Wright is going to come in there with a game plan. I think that they're going to go into Tennessee. I think they're going to beat them. I do not think it's going to be a blowout, though. I think it's going to be a close game. But Phillip Rivers and the Colts get it done tonight. So, so the only thing that I'm going to end this with is um, uh, one of the issues I have in Indianapolis, and it is a big reason why I took to the seat in this matchup, is a tailback who's it going to be. They never know who's going to be the guy week to week. You know, could be Jonathan Taylor last week. It was Naeem Hines. Um, there's that along with the fact that T.Y. Hilton has not been hurt all year. The guy has played in games. Philip Rivers just won't throw on the ball. So I, I just that the way that offense is structured, I don't know how it's going to work out. I, I'm just going to go with the more solid offense. In this but game. but for them to be successful, more you know successful because they do have a winning record and everything. Can't take anything away from them uh, this year. Right, um, right. It's just it, at this point, it's just dependability. You yeah. know what you're going to get week in and week out in Tennessee. You don't know what you're going to get in. But you got to get him involved at some point in the season, and uh, you know. Oh. It, I mean, without a doubt. Yeah, um, and it only they takes one. The most explosive, the most explosive talent they have on that offense. Yeah, and, and he's really the guy. If you want to beat the good teams, that's how you're going to do it. And I think as long as you get one good week out of him, I think that's going to turn that guy around. I think that his confidence is going to be back. And once Philip Rivers sees it, you know, maybe he can start throwing to him, or you know, for for whatever reason he hasn't been throwing them to you know to him already this year. Philip Rivers throw the ball to Hilton. Uh, so yeah, I think that's uh, I think that might be the X factor tonight. You know, we'll, we'll see though. Uh, there is a, I mean, it's a possibility, albeit not a strong possibility. It, it is a possibility. I mean, the guy is still T.Y. Hilton. Yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to see. So you know, that's that's interesting that we we split from the get go. That never happens. Usually, we're you know, in agreement for, you know, a couple games before we split. But uh, that's uh, – right, And, and uh, so that, that means that this is going to be an intriguing football week for multiple reasons. We never do Thursday picks. We never split. We broke the cycle. We broke the cycle. And we actually are going to – I can't end this video in my normal fashion because my opponent this week is Jack. We're going head-to-head. You know, I actually forgot about that. So, you forgot about that. I forgot about that, but uh, when we make the next video uh, this weekend, that just makes things more interesting. Yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. It will, because it's going to be, I mean, I gotta, it's going to be tough. I don't know if I'm allowed to, to end my, do my outros or not at this point. I mean, what do you do? <laughs> I say, man, stay consistent. Do what you got to do. Uh, okay, well, then you know what? We're going to stay consistent with it. We're going to count. Maybe we always outro it. Yep. So are you ready? Are you ready? Is this, uh, is this good? Are we happy with it? Yeah, we're, I'm, I'm good. Okay, so you want to go ahead and hit your outro real quick? Uh, yeah, so uh, good luck, guys. Uh, if you got fantasy. You know, that's kind of playing into his thing. Um, man, you know what? If I didn't have Pat Mahomes playing, he's not. He's on a bye. And that was kind of my – that was my weapon going into the thing. But this time, I don't have him. So, I'm kind of – you know, I, I got to really go into my fantasy football genius and get, you know, and make up a game plan to, to, to you know, to, to take you down again. Because I've already done it once this year. So – yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see, man. I got some stuff in in store. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go a, a different wind change. I'm just gonna go my outro, but I'm also gonna do the while insulting you at the same time. Go ahead. Uh, see, like you said, folks, he's already beat me. He beat me week one. We faced head to head week one. He got me. He got by a lot actually. My home went off on me. Um, that being said, since then I am. Five and one. I've won. I've run it off five of my last six games. Uh, I lost my first three, actually. So I'm five and three. Five and 
three. I think we might actually have the same record. We do, actually. You started off uh, three and zero oh, and uh, went two, two and three. Since. Yeah, I lost some heartbreakers this this year. It's 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 been a tough couple weeks. So it's gonna be interesting because you got a guy who beat me week one, who's kind of on a losing streak right now, going up against probably the hottest fantasy owner in our league right now. So it's gonna be, and you're going again, like you said, but you're going up against me. That's your secret weapon. So. Let's go ahead and end that there. I'm going to say good luck to all you fantasy owner men and women. With that being said, I hope you're not playing against me because other than that, you're going down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see, though. I'm, uh, I'm going to put up a fight. And uh, I think I don't, you know, don't be surprised. You know, you went 2-0 and against me last year. You know, don't be surprised if I go 2-0 and against you this year. Oh, well, man, you really did go deep in the bag of tricks there, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and end it here. And, uh, you know, everybody, if your fantasy week starts on Thursday night, hey, good luck. Yeah, good luck. And uh, this is Jack and Captain Sports signing off.